So the third thing I want to invite you to do or ask you to do is to dedicate yourself through the human design system, learning through this experience by observing, questioning, listening, offering compassion, cultivating awareness for yourself first above all else. Human design is the school of enlightened selfishness with regards to how Ra originally labeled it. And of course, we, particularly for those of you generative people, we must get into this experience for ourselves first, for ourselves first, because no one can carry on that flame for yourself other than you. Now, I have found it true that my students are definitely inspirational when it comes to witnessing and watching their awakening, their flowering, their recognition of the true highest potential, their calling, if you will, their own truths that can definitely inspire you to continue on in the journey, which can be a struggle to obey the body and not pay attention to what the mind says. You can take it into account. Very nice mind. Thank you so much for telling me that, for sharing your opinion. But then put it back to work in what it's there for, looking out into the world, measuring and comparing and judging out there, not internally. Cultivating awareness helps you to recognize when your own mind is triggering you and creating that negation of the authenticity authenticity within you. So dedicating yourself to the human design experiment means this experience will have its ups and downs. Yeah, especially for us third lines, we'll have mistakes. Don't worry. One of the biggest things people worry at this point is, am I ready? Can I do this? Yeah, the mind will go, who am I to be this? Who am I to do that? How can I help anyone else? When I'm still in the beginnings of this, you know, in order to help others, it becomes an alignment with our fractal. Those who are ready to learn from you will show up in your life. They'll ask, they'll invite, they'll present themselves. When the teacher is ready, the student appears. It's not just the other way around. So to allow yourself to go gently, kindly into this experience, to dedicate yourself to your own personal process first is very important because they learn via your auric example, your energetic example. And as Ross says, learning human design isn't the same as living it. It is a requirement that you must be your own authority in order for this to work, for you to call, to put out the call, or to live as an example, or to influence others, or to expound upon the details and be an authority or an expert on this. It must be true that you are your own authority for you, on you. Learning, living, breathing, being this system takes a lot of courage. And if there's a fire inside of you, if you find yourself just always wanting to hear more about what this is, or what that means, or, you know, learning and discussing and expressing the wisdom potential that is there, then you're in the right place because it's a journey. It's not a destination. You don't have to have it perfect in order to help the others that are there. You just have to be a little bit further up the mountain as they say, in order to reach back and offer up a helping hand. However, in this course, it is very important that you comprehend the centers, the centers being the hubs of energy, the life force that is there or that is inconsistent within the individual that is presenting to you. So it's important that you have all of these foundations very clear within your recognition of the patterns of this system, that you use the correct terminology. And it's not just about the simplicity. Are you preoccupied with finding answers to questions that don't matter? It's also the nuances and the specificity to you, generator, trying to answer everyone else's questions, running down these rabbit holes of things that don't matter to you is where you get pulled off track. 
So in this course, I'm going to uh, give you lectures as well as describe for you more specificity with regards to how do we deal with the different energies that you're going to be presented with. For example, the manifester and his or her recognitions are different. Their challenges are different than those who are projected versus those who are generative versus those who are reflective. So all of these centers, how do we foster the intelligence of the awareness of the individual in front of us? How do we give them that helping hand and partner with them to come to the realizations of truth, to witness and watch as they flower under our care? It is important that we have the language, a grasp of the fundamentals and the language aligned to their design. So not just the centers, but also the frequencies of those centers, the circuitry that is there, because the body graph is multidimensional, just as you are. You are a multidimensional being. You have all these nuances and subtleties, all these energies that you are working with. You are not just that natal imprinting. So to understand and to comprehend the recognition of the truth of you, all you have to do is touch in with the intelligence of the form. The intelligence of the form is where your nature of being resides. Now, the human design system is a reading of your genetic code. With a human design education, your genetic code can be read in detail. Now, that's the work of a professional analyst, this ability to detail the mechanics. Obviously, that's profound and it has its place. It reveals the complete nature in its subtleties, the complete nature of the individual. However, by simply grasping the surface mechanic, what this work aspires to communicate, you will have a grounding in this life that is immediately going to bring a difference in your process and also in the process of the people you serve. So in serving the individuals that are interested in seeing, witnessing, watching what you are doing with your energy generator or how you are managing, guiding others' energy projector or how you are impacting manifester how you are informing, how you have the freedom to initiate or for the reflector, the objective observational qualities of you touching into the greater all that isness, this brilliance and wisdom of being you. The work of a guide is staying on the surface and translating that depth simply. So instead of going into further and further detail, you must do, definitely do, study into the depths, into the detail. But when you're working with a client who is new at this, remember to keep it very simple. Come back out. When you're in doubt, zoom back out and bring it to the fundamental basis of what is true within that individual's hum in the human being life force. And that life force can be comprehended simply as the mechanical structures of type, strategy, and authority. Okay. And oftentimes you come, people come to this and they want to know more about what about this? What does this gate mean and that gate mean? So right here, right now, I want to tell you, if you try to analyze a gate and a line by itself, that is not the sum totality of the human being. Yes, we can see that there are aspects there and you're definitely going to work with, let's say they have an undefined ajna, there are fears that are there. You're definitely going to work with the fears. Fears are very important to unveil so that people are not locked into those fears and identifying with those fears as their own to make decisions from. Absolutely. But remember to keep it simple. Come back to the surface. Repeat yourself. It cannot be stressed too much with regards to type, strategy, and authority, giving us an awareness of the nature of being.